Maybe Magneto will be good. We can use Magneto and to push this to what? And get something in. Yup, you see he dropped something here. But I mean, if we manage to win, that'll be insane. It's okay, we don't need Moon Go. Oh, nice. Hopefully, we draw Nick Fury. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, let's just drop this here. Hopefully, we get Devil Dinosaur or Nick Fury. <laughs> Fuck. Annoying. It's okay, we'll win using our collector. Oh my god, fuck. I think we're gonna lose here, man. <laughs> I think we might just lose here. The person still has her. Wait, what, what kind of cards did he, did he discard? Oh my god, god, Devil Dinosaur, this is the turn where we could have just played our, our Moon Goal. Ah, fuck, this is annoying. Let's compete here. <laughs> I, I, I can't draw Maximus man. Maximus is just gonna buff him. It's, it's ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. Okay, at least we draw 3 6 cost cards. Hopefully it's something crazy. Maybe Magneto will be good. We can use Magneto and just draw him out, you know. We can just draw him all the way to the right hand side, right, if he's Magneto. If this is your only card here, destroy all other locations. Fuck. I'm so tempted to, to drop Galactus on the left hand side. <laughs> uh, what about this? Destroy your other cards. I think you can drop Devil and Saw and can still win the game. Yeah. No, no, I'm not gonna go so crazy, man. I'm not gonna do King Collectors. <laughs> because I'm so scared he's gonna drop a card here. But he has to drop something on the middle, right, to win. And the right hand side. If he drops something that's above 3, we, we're just. We're dead. Oh my god. Are we gonna go for the meme play? Nah, I prefer the more safe. Yup, you see he dropped something here. He dropped something here. I imagine if we drop our characters. We lost, man. But I mean, if we manage to win, that would be insane. But it's okay, we don't need Moon Go. Nick Fury is good enough. Okay. Okay, we got, we got a collector, which is good. Hmm, not too sure about that. Let's just drop this here. Hmm, nice. Eh. Uh, okay, I mean, we can't really play anything here, right? Just drop collector at the center. Then we pray that we get Devil Dinosaur here. Okay, we need to. Hopefully, we can fill the ball up. Before turn 5, right? Wait, after turn 5. Okay, as long as we don't put any cards here, it should be fine. I don't want them, I don't want some random shitty card to be clogging up my space throne. Hey, this is new. If both players have 4 cards at this location plus 6 power. Oh my god, this is such a disgusting card, man. It kind of counterbalances one another, right? This lose power, but this gains power. How are we supposed to run this? After turn 5 isn't it? So this is fine. So let's just go with Ant-Man, Sentinel, and we are good. Maybe we should just wear with Moon Girl. Then could have increased the power of collector, right? Okay, we are banking on the fact that we have Agent 13 here. 
Like, well, we're just make, making use of Agent 13. Okay, we have to drop this here. There's no choice. And I think I'm just gonna go with Agent 13. I'm just so scared that if we... Oh, okay, I, I need to open up the op opportunity here. Oh wait, he's just gonna screw it. <laughs> That's fine, let's just open it up. I feel that we're gonna play better with more space. Give me something crazy. Well, that's pretty shitty. Oh no! Okay, we have to buff ourselves, right? Oh shit. Okay, this is terrible. Um, I don't think we can buff ourselves beyond 18, right? How are we gonna do this? I need this to go up. He, can, he just need to put one card here, right? I just gonna focus on this. If he were to drop something here, he's gonna win, right? If I... But he's gonna... Con he's gonna try and focus on left-hand side. It's either left or right, right? Let's just think about it. If he drops right, he wins immediately. But he's gonna think that I'm gonna go right, so we go left. Okay, let's just do this then. And try and beat him using power. Please. Please. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes! Fuck. I guessed it. I guessed it. I guessed it. I freaking guessed it. <laughs> okay. I mean, sometimes it is good, you know. I mean, we are we are fighting against a somewhat logical player, so he's gonna think that way, so we can outthink him. Like we are two steps ahead instead of one step ahead. I mean, if he's a dumb player or an AI, then I mean, dropping here we are probably gonna lose because he's just gonna go with Strange Academy, right? But there's a possibility, there's a possibility that he can think three steps ahead, isn't it? He's gonna think that I'm gonna drop some cards here, then he's gonna think one more step, then he drop on Strange Academy. <laughs> okay, Mungo, please, Mungo. Ah, shit. Okay, we can play Devil Dinosaur on the left hand side. So for a start, let's just go with Iceman first. Mm, please no on review. Okay, that's fine. Quick silver. Sure. Okay, nice. We have our Sentinel Nick Fury combo here, which is cool. Nick Fury, White Queen. I mean, it's not really a combo, it's just a bunch of cards to draw cards. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not a shitty location on the right hand side. Please be good. Please be good to me. Oh nice, this is a this is something that we are looking for here. Sentinel Agent 13 Agent 13 and Sentinel White Queen Center Nick Fury sent on the right hand side. Yup. I think we are most likely gonna win Stark Tower. We're gonna apply quite a fair bit of pressure because we have a lot of cards here. We can consider snapping early because we have two two locations to our favor, right? On slot citadel. And stuck top. Oh my god, this is such an insane cut. I think for a start, let's just go with White Queen. You might even just screw. Oh, do we even need to play Nick Fury at this point? Gomorrah seems to be the better choice. But we are not very sure whether Gomorrah can activate, right? That's the question here. Because this is not very clear here. It feels like he's running um Lockjaw deck. But I, I feel that I haven't reached a point where we are fighting against like fully built pool tree decks yet because I'm still quite low rank. I haven't been playing a lot. There's work, you know, responsibilities. But I'm reaching the point where I'm seeing more cards that I'm not very familiar with. Oh wait, I forgot to end turn. What an idiot. Yep, this seems like a lockjaw deck. Ok, 
Okay. Moon Grow. I don't want to be giving him too much information here though. I'm okay with Stark Tower. Yeah, let's just focus on Nick Fury here. So we are drawing one card only. I suppose so. We probably should just drop Gamora at the center because there's a good chance he's gonna go center, right? Okay, never mind. Oh, this is good. Leader will be good. I mean, it's not too bad, right? You can play whatever cards that he just played. Copy all cards you open, play distant but on your side. But I feel that we are winning already, we just need to focus on one, right? You can snap here. I, I've never played against this deck, so I have no idea how this works. I know that some this is like a lockjaw kind of deck, right? Or Thor Jane Foster deck. But it's okay, I'm confident. Ooh, 27. Ah, shit. Nobody to move. Hey, why? Oh my god, this is so cool, man. Mjolnir. It even has like voice acting. We have all the cards that we want. Uh, cards here, you know, power plus 3. Eh. You know, uh, okay, okay. And man. Oh, this person managed to get Loki. Oh, please don't discard Devil Dance. <laughs> Two times really. Today when I, while I'm playing this deck, two times it happened two times. Sokovia discarded my devil dinosaur twice. What is this? Ah, this is annoying. It's okay. Ooh, nice. Let's just drop this, and let's just drop this here. Wait, nobody can play cost. Why why do I do that? I mean just play this here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's just drop this and contest on the right hand side. I mean I suppose this is the part where we depend on collector, right? This is our alternative to Devil Dinosaur, which is pretty pathetic. One power at a time. You can only play one card a turn. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Cards that didn't start in your deck cost one less. Oh, shit. Hey, why is this six cost? Oh, I drew this from his hands. Hey, did I drew this from his hands? Oh, because this is the highest cost card. <laughs> I managed to frostbite his blue marvel, which is awesome, isn't it? Um. I think right. Should we flood the board? No, I think I I want Nick Fury. I need to get the three three cards buff to push this to what and get something insane, right? Oh my god, this is awesome! Imagine we have. Hey, why why is his blue marble five? Oh my god, we have such a good card here. Oh my god, we get Ultron, man. We have freaking Ultron. We have this as well. Why? Giganto? Thanos? Okay, Thanos is useless. It's only for the early game, right? Okay. Cable, Rhino. Hmm. I wish we had the collector, that would be nice. I'm not quite sure because I have one card which is Rhino. It's like the spot where I can just change to anything. Like, I mean, this is something that I can't decide. What do I put? Like, is Rhino even good? Is it even worth it? Not too sure about that. For now, let's just draw some cards first. Okay, he's gonna double his power. 
destroy a random friendly card here and add copies of it to 2. Okay, we can go with Devil Dinosaur and Arnim Zola. So that means we have to put all of our cards on the left hand side. No. Nothing can be at the center here. Okay, let me just go with um Agent um, Agent 13 to increase our chances of drawing some very cool card here. I'm not playing a movement deck man. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Then we will go with Devil Dinosaur and Arnim Zola. We have to leave this empty. He can't possibly play Shang-Chi, right? You see? He's stuck. He's stuck. Oh, such a cool Jessica Jones. Oh my god. I wish we could just drop Hot Goblin here. It doubles its power, right? If it doubles it, it becomes what? 19. Eh, no, 16. That would be damn cool. Okay, hopefully this is bigger than his card. And we destroy that. I mean, he could have dropped this on Shuri's lap. And he, and he could have won that lane, right? Let's go with Arnim Zola. Oh my god, why don't you let me play it out? We could have just summoned two, two and two. Wow, but imagine if he had Arnim Zola, he was planning to duplicate his Black Panther, man. Baby! Oh. Well, this is awkward. I mean, if we can't win, then we can drop Rhino. <laughs> But Rhino comes okay we can cut we can put Rhino on turn four. If we if we are gonna lose we can just do that. And just see how this goes. Oh, he doesn't have a turn one card. Interesting. It's okay. I'm confident. We have our turn three and turn four play. He's dropping Daredevil. It's not gonna save you, my man. It's not gonna save you, boy. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna... Oh, Iceman will be such a good card, isn't it? No, if I drop everything, what do I have now? Okay, yeah, let's just do that. I think we need to ruin his hands. Nice. Oh my god, we have our moon girl. Um, I think we compete on the left hand side. Oh no, we should divide and conquer, right? Because this, we, we are able to add three more here. Yeah, we should divide and conquer. Or we can add two, two more cards, right? We can add five power here and add 2 as a result 5 plus 2 so but this one adds 3 3, 4, 7 so it's 4 and 5 5 and 4 I don't think this makes more sense yeah this makes more sense yup Ooh. Yes, this was the right choice because we need to get this above. We need, I mean, if we were to drop Agent 13 and Sentinel, right, we only boost this by two. So this ties that devil, and that doesn't, that doesn't cut it. Okay, we have Cork, we have Moon Girl. Please give me Devil Dinosaur. Oh, we have Nick Fury. Hmm, nice. Let's go with Cork. You want some cork? Hiya! Give you corks and rocks. Uh, why? It's alright. 
Just put our Agent 13 here. Give me something good. Galactus. Galactus. <laughs> we drop it on turn 6. I mean, how do you win with Galactus? It's, it's a 3 cost card. I mean, it's 3 power, right? Oh, we are Captain America. Nice. Uh, I think we just drop. I feel that Captain America can take advantage of this. Okay, nice, no, fine. Let's just drop Captain America on the right hand side. Avengers! Assemble. Ooh, cer Cerebral. I haven't gotten this card yet. Your highest power cards get plus two. Yeah, that's alright. Hmm. I think we go with White Queen. I'm not very confident that we can get Collector to, to go to get higher power. Oh, nice. <laughs> they all died. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? This is so strange. Okay, so what do we do here, man? I mean, obviously, you want, go, you want to go with Collector, right? And then do we want to go with Rhino? Mr. Fantastic seems to be the better choice here. This doesn't make sense. I think Sentinel seems to be the better choice here. Yeah, we, we, we can't possibly grow Collector anymore. It's too late. It's way too late in the game. Nice. Oh, he also has his Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> Eh. Okay. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah, let's just drop this here. It is very straightforward. We are winning both sides. I think we can snap here. Unless he can divide and conquer. Unless he has enough power, right? My biggest fear is that. This is gonna give his highest power card plus two, right? I mean, if he has America Chavez, he still loses, isn't it? We are currently, we currently has the advantage. We have the advantage here. We have the advantage. He's probably gonna retreat. I think we. I mean, there's no choice, right? We can't. We can't just say that we could have snap early because. I mean, I mean, our bot state was just pretty shit. I feel. I'm not very confident here. I have no idea what he's playing. I don't get it. What are these cards? What are they supposed to do? Okay. I ended my turn, right? <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Triple lane win, what the heck? What kind of cuts? Has Matt? Has Matt and Storm?